this is the look at everything that I was going for, guys. This is going to make the difference between you and the next guy. DJ J. Buck. Baby, you're the one for me. Baby, you are meant for me. I'm madly in love with you. Well, good evening and welcome back to another video with the Book Club. This channel is filled with nothing but gig logs and fun stuff and today there's no exception today we're gonna have a little bit of fun we're gonna go over a couple products that I just got here recently and we're gonna show you a light that I'm gonna be using here in the near future for some of these gigs we got to show you some of the behind-the-scenes stuff that comes along with some of these over-the-top gigs so if you're new here make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because stuff like this is happening all the time and you don't want to miss out on that without further ado let's get right to the first product oh. Oh, let's go ahead and cut it open. Okay, so one box leads to another, but now you can actually see what the product I'm showing you here is. The American DJ Haze Generator. So let's take a look at this sucker. This thing has got some size on it, it's got some weight on it. I'd probably say this thing is like about well, 30 something pounds, maybe even 20. It's nice, very nice build. Looks like it comes complete with a power cord. A controller. And of course the instruction manual. But wait, who uses this anymore? All right, so I'm pretty sure some of you guys will probably ask yourself, well, DJ J Book, why did you get this? Well, I got this because what I want to do is I want to take my lighting set up to the next level. So there are some venues that will allow you to use these things on here. I'm actually going to show you today why this generator can make your light stand out like they've never stood out before. All right, so I've got everything plugged up here, but one thing that this package does not come with is haze juice. And we're gonna need some of that right now, so hence the next package. All right, so we got the ADJ haze juice here that we're gonna put in here. Now, one thing I would recommend to you guys is do your research on your haze machines or your fog machines and make sure that the juice and stuff that you're getting actually is compatible with your unit because some of these things are water-based, some of these things are oil-based, and you don't wanna mess up your system trying to put the wrong stuff into your unit. So today, I did my research, and this is an oil base system, so we're gonna put the oil base into the container here. So let's get closer. All right, so looking at the dynamics and everything in the unit here, you'll see that you've got your on-off switch here on the back, you've got your power input here that you're gonna connect your power cord to, and your remote control has an input and everything here as well. And one good thing about this, is that this thing actually is a magnet. So when you take it and you just want to put it to your system, you can put it just like that if you want to, or it's got enough slack on the cord for you to be able to run this all the way over to your unit. So each one of these things have a different feature. So you've got your button here, your knob here that actually controls the duration on how long your haze and everything comes out. You've got your timer button on and off down here where if you set the timer and everything on here, which is a part of your interval, if you set your timer and everything down here for you, you can press this button and this will allow you to be able to have it where it comes out at the time that you want it to. As well as your remote control, you can control it here. If you just want continuous haze at your own will, you press the haze button, it comes right out for you, but you still need to control the output of it up here. So just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you'll be looking at. On the actual unit at the top, there is a port for your haze shoes. You want to pour everything right into this container. And then on the front, you actually have your leveler here. So you can see exactly how much you're putting into the unit. That way you're able to know when you're at max capacity or if you're low on fluid, everything is seen right here. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put some of this haze juice in here. All right, so I poured everything in here and I've used probably about a little over a fourth of the bottle here. So we're gonna create some haze now for you. All right, so I've got it cranked up here. I'm gonna let it warm up here for a second. And you may not have to do so, but I just wanna go over something else with you guys. I'm gonna use the remote control here to let me know exactly when everything is ready. I want you to also know that in the instruction manual, it actually said that you definitely do not wanna run these guys without having the juice and everything inside because it could clog up your tubing and everything inside and it just will allow for anything that could go wrong to go wrong and you don't want to be at an event and everything go wrong. All right, so to get things going and everything on here, we're going to go ahead and press the red remote on and off button here. This will allow the unit to know that we're going to use a remote control to be able to control how much haze and everything comes out. And then we're going to use the green button to manually allow for haze to come out of here at my will. So here's a small dose. Be careful though, these machines and everything can be a little sensitive to fire alarms. So you wanna make sure that you call your venue ahead of time and make sure that they allow for haze to be able to be used. Because if they do, boy, watch out. And I'm gonna to try to conduct an experiment here so we can see how these lights and everything will work. So the first thing we're gonna test down on here is this is the ADJ Ultra Bar 12. And what I wanna do is I just wanna put it on an active mode and cut off the lights here. And we're gonna see how the haze machine makes a difference. So normally when I have this guy out or if I have it on the top of one of my rigs, I, it usually just flashes lights and that's about it. Now I light up the dance floor but there's more to these things. Check it out. All right, so we're here now. Let's add a little haze to it. So look at that. This makes all the difference. Having these beams come up and stuff from your items on here actually makes it feel like more like a club atmosphere. And a lot of times it just makes you stand out from the rest because your lights and stuff are important to you. Your lights change the atmosphere for your clients. So you definitely want to make them stand out as much as you can. And that's why this guy right here is going to be so important. But this isn't the unit that I wanted to see it on. So let's switch back here to regular form. 12 seconds later. All right, so we're back here. So let's move on to the next item I wanted to show you. And this is the reason, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get the haze machine is because I wanted these lights here to stand out because these lights look great by themselves, but I have a great idea for these that I actually think that's gonna change the way some of my events look. So let's bring it out. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the Epsilon X Beam. Now, I've seen this light in a couple of videos as well as I've actually seen it on a couple of movies. I want the one we sponsor. And I really like what this light can do. Now by itself, it can give you some great lighting on your dance floor, but boy, when you add haze to it, you create a whole different atmosphere. So let's set it up and show you what it looks like here. We're gonna use our handy dandy ADJ Airstream DMX bridge to go ahead and run everything here. We've got the wireless dog on everything connected, made by donor. We've got the wireless receiver in the back. So just the wireless receiver, power plug, Airstream bridge. All right, so I've already got the Epsilon already programmed into my Airstream DMX bridge with the iPad here. So I'm gonna run a couple of scenes here to see if I can get it to make some magic. So we're all set and ready to go here. So let that be light. We're gonna slide up our dimmer here. I'm gonna move this guy around and there it is. Oh man, do you see those beams? That's what I'm looking for. This effect right here would look awesome on a dance floor. So now, let's add some haze to it here. And I've already got a program set up for it where it kind of moves around for you guys. And let's see what it looks like. All right, so the light's off, and I want you guys to take a look at that. Look at those beams. Yeah, buddy. This is what we're going for. Imagine this on your dance floor, and you've got this guy waving over the crowd while everybody's partying. Now, of course, you can set up your different scenes and everything with it. You don't have to keep it at a slow pace, but this guy is ready for action. And you've got all different kind of colors and everything that you can do with this light. You can switch to a little pink, 
green. Let's see if we can get that green to come back around. Woo, there it is. A little blue. A little red. A little teal. And how about some purple or oh, pink? Let's see if we can do pink first. And then purple. In a smoky room. All right, so that's what that light can do. Imagine one of these things up on one of those glow totems and this guy shining over the crowd like a fan. I think it's gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna do great. Now I have one of these, but what would happen if I maybe say had two? So now you've got two of these guys now going over the crowd, giving you just an awesome effect, almost like you were in like this Super Miami club. So let's haze them up and let's turn down the lights and let's see what they look like. All right, so we're hazed up. Let them be the light. And turn the suckers around. Whoa. Now look at that effect right there. Now I'm gonna lay these guys down right in front of you. Look at that, look at that. Doesn't that look concert-esque right there? If you've been to a concert lately, I'm sure they have something that is similar to this. This is the look that I'm going for. That looks awesome. So, let's put them in program mode, see how they operate. Oh man, look at these guys. They're all close to the place. I love it. This is the look at everything that I was going for, guys. This is gonna make the difference between you and the next guy. These things are sexy. Look at this. So there you have it. I've got both of these guys fired up and ready to go, and that is what I am trying to put together is the overall goal to try to make the atmosphere like none other and separate myself from the next guy. All these products will actually be listed down in the description and everything below. So you guys might want to check those out, see what you think about them. Now I plan on using these guys in some of the upcoming events because I've got some big, big weddings coming up here and they just want the atmosphere to be really, really dope. So I'm going to make it dope. All right, guys, let me know what you think about everything that I showed you and everything here today. Leave some comments and everything down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll definitely get to them as fast as I can. Hey, you guys have been doing great. We are still close to 1,000. Still want to make that 1,000 before we get to the end of the summer. And I'm going to keep those gig logs and everything rolling, man. I appreciate you guys coming along with me today. If you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. And follow me on social media, guys, because, hey, I've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. You do not want to miss that. Book Club, we just keep getting bigger and better. So we got to let them know out there that if you don't know, now you know. See you guys on the next one. Peace.